If you're considering buying a new townhouse in Frederick, then you have to watch this video because this is the only complete list of all nine new construction communities offering townhouses in Frederick right now. You can go on Zillow, you can go on the MLS, and it is very hard to find them all in one place. So that's exactly what I've done for you in this video. We're gonna go over the quick rundown of each community, what you need to know about them. And at the end, if you stick around, I'm gonna give you my exact method that's gonna make it much easier for you to find these communities in the future. So let's just dive right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Eddie and I'm a realtor here in Maryland. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, thank you for being here. I've made it my mission to help people just like you determine the best places to move in Maryland. I give you the market updates, the best neighborhoods, and everything you need to know to determine where to move and how to go about making that move. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And in this video, instead of hopping around from community to community, I've put them in order by location. So we're going to start on the northern end of Frederick and work our way around counterclockwise. And we're going to start at the very northern end with the community of Tuscarora East Creekside by DRB Homes. And this community only has one floor plan known as the Harlow 2, and it's a beautiful style house. It comes with three beds and two and a half baths to start on three levels, but you have options with this model to add a four foot or an eight foot extension, a loft, extra bedrooms and bathrooms, outdoor covered deck options. And of course you can design the interior at the design center to make it fit your needs as well. And an important thing to note here, which I'm gonna note about every townhouse that we go over, is that this is a 22 foot wide townhouse. And if you add the four foot or eight foot extensions, that adds a lot of square footage to your home. And I'll explain why that's important here in a minute. And you can either build your own home here or do a quick move in. And if you build your own, it's taking about eight months on average from the time you sign your contract till the time you move in in this community. So it can be very appealing to do one of their quick move in units. And this community has some pretty nice amenities. It has a clubhouse, a community center, a pool, walking trails, playgrounds, and a tot lot. And this side of Frederick's nice because the roads were built with the high traffic flow in mind. So getting over to Route 15 to go on to Frederick is actually a really nice, easy trip. And one thing I'll say about this side of Frederick is that it's expanding very rapidly. So although there's not a lot of shopping right around this community right now, it's likely that there'll be some options in the future. It's likely there'll be more developments in the future. So if you're moving here now, it might look very different five years from now. Now, moving on to the second community. And again, we're going Southwest counterclockwise around Frederick here. And that's the community of Kellerton by Keystone Custom Homes. And something I'll say about this community is it's not talked about all that often for its townhouses. It's very popular for their single family homes here. So even I forgot for a minute that there are townhouses here. And that's a shame because there's a lot of options in these townhouses. They're building one floor plan called the Hayward, and it has three stories, five different exterior elevations, and they went with what they call an equestrian inspired theme on these. And it's kind of like a craftsman look, but a little different. They come with three beds, two and a half baths at their base level. But the big difference here is that their standard two car garage fits two cars deep, meaning that one car blocks in the other. And remember I said that the last townhouse community had 22 foot wide homes. Well, this is a 20 foot wide home and it makes a big difference on what you can fit in that floor plan. So when you're talking about garage space, it really matters how wide the townhome is. Now, the good news is that they're offering eight foot extensions on these homes. And if you have an end unit, you can do a three foot extension on the side of the house. So you have the option to add a ton of square footage, make it a true two car garage if you want to. And they're actually saying that they're gonna offer a three car garage in their options. And just like Tuscarora Creek, they also have these same amenities here. They have the clubhouse, the pool, athletic fields, walking trails, and a dog park. And it's only 13 or 14 minutes from downtown Frederick on a slightly more congested route, which is Yellow Springs Road, but it's still not bad, not a bad drive at all to get into downtown Frederick. And at the time of this video, the tidings is starting at $394,990. And the Arcadia with a garage is starting at $457,790. And they have one quick move-in home, which they don't have much of in this community, and that's starting at just over $493,000. Now, moving down to the fourth community on the list, just to the south of Sycamore Ridge, is the Gambrel Glen community by K. Hovnanian. And this community is located much closer to what's known as the Golden Mile in Frederick. And this is a major commercial retail corridor on the west side of Frederick on Route 40, where you have a ton of shopping, dining, retail stores. You have your Home Depot, furniture stores, movie theaters. So much is right there. So when you're thinking about locations and you want to be near it all, this is the closest so far on this list. And they're currently building two floor plans, a lot like Sycamore Ridge by Lennar. It's funny how a lot of these communities do very similar types of construction projects. And one of them is called the Cape May. It starts with four beds, three and a half baths, 
one without a garage called the Long Beach that starts with three beds and two and a half baths, and both are 20 foot wide townhouses. But there's also a much larger third option on the way called the Holderness, and this is a very large townhouse, the largest on the list that we're going to talk about as far as width goes. It's a 24 foot wide townhouse, and it's going to come with four beds, three and a half baths, and a two car garage. And the important thing to note about how wide it is is that it changes the functionality of the house significantly. Your kitchen looks way different with this type of floor plan. It's so much wider. You have room for a larger kitchen table. But what I notice about these floor plans in the 24 foot wide buildings is that the two bedrooms upstairs, not the primary, but the two uh, extra bedrooms upstairs are so much more usable. You have instead of a nine foot wide bedroom, 11 foot wide bedrooms. And believe me, it makes a huge difference. And one thing you might notice about Gambrel Glen and also Sycamore Ridge is that there aren't really any amenities here. You have some tot lots, maybe a couple walking trails, but that's about it. They really rely on the surrounding area for their amenities. And that may be a good thing because with your HOA fee being lower, you're not paying for things you might not use. But if you are looking for a pool, this might not be the best community for you or you have to join a community pool during the summertime. At the time of this video, these houses start at 394,990 for the Long Beach models, and they go up to 439,990 for the Cape May. And at the time of this video, they do not have a price for the Holderness, but it will be coming soon. And the fifth community that we're going to jump down to is West Park Village by Ryan Holmes. And this is actually right off of the Golden Mile on the very far west end of the Golden Mile on the southern side. And this is the first development on this side of 40 in a very long time. Most of the developments here happened in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So these will be the newest homes by far on this side of 40. And Ryan Holmes is building a three bed, two and a half bath, 22 foot wide townhouse with a two car garage called the Mendelssohn. It's the only floor plan in this community. It's pretty basic, not a ton of options that you can add to this home, but a lot of people like that. Sometimes they don't like a lot of options. They just want to move into the house and not have to think about it. And just like the last two communities, there are no amenities right inside the development itself, other than maybe a tot lot and some walking trails. But with this one being right on Route 40, it's much quicker to get to your amenities, to your shopping and your dining. And this is actually a perfect location if you're working in a place like Hagerstown, but you don't want to live in Hagerstown. You could live right here, jump on 40, onto 70 and be there in a much shorter drive than anywhere else on this list. And this community, Sycamore Ridge and Gamble Glen, being on the west side of Frederick, are closer to the outdoor activities in Frederick. You're closer, closer to Gambrel State Park, which has a ton of hiking trails and really cool overlooks. So if you're into the outdoors, these may be the better communities for you. And at the time of this video, these homes start at $429,990, and they are not selling any quick move-in homes. And moving on to the sixth community on the list, this is also built by Ryan Holmes, but in a totally different type of location. And this is the Bel Air community right outside of downtown Frederick. And this is really in a prime location, located just on the west side, right outside of Baker Park. It's gonna have connected walking and biking trails right to downtown, and it doesn't have amenities, just like some of the other communities. But when you're talking about being close to downtown, a lot of times you don't need those because you're gonna be able to go to Baker Park, Carroll Creek, all the local restaurants just a few minutes away. And they're building two floor plans in this community. They're building a Strauss model, which is a 20 foot wide townhouse, starting with three beds, two and a half baths, and a two car garage. And they're building a Schubert, which is a 22 foot wide plan with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two car garage, just like the Strauss, but with a lot more square footage. And the interesting thing about this community is that it's priced pretty reasonably with its location. I mean, being right outside of downtown is so hard to find buying new land, building a new house this close to downtown with walking trails to downtown, just very hard to do. So the Strauss model is starting at $429,990 and the Schubert is starting at $469,990. All right, so the seventh community is also a Ryan Homes community located on the southwest side of Frederick, and this is Harrington Terrace Phase 2. Now, they've already done a Phase 1, obviously, a much larger portion of this community, and now they're finishing it out with Phase 2. And this location is ideal for those that are looking to get away from the busyness of Frederick. There is not a lot of traffic here, not a lot going on. It's close to Jefferson, and it's kind of out of the way as far as Frederick goes. And even feeling kind of far away, it's only a 10-minute drive into downtown, and it's also really ideal ideal for commuting into West Virginia or Virginia on Route 340 and Route 15. And they're building two floor plans here. They're building a Myers quick move-in, which is a three bed, two full bath, two half bath plan with a two car garage. It's a 20 foot wide, three story townhouse. So it does have a little less space, but 
it's a quick move in. And then they're building a larger model, which is the Serenade, a 22 foot townhouse, square, a 22 foot wide townhouse, starting with three beds, two and a half baths, and those have an option of adding a fourth level. And there are also no amenities to speak of here either. There's going to be probably a tot lot and some walking trails through it, but don't be fooled by Google Maps. If you look on there, you're going to see a pool, but that's for a nearby apartment community, not for Harrington Terrace townhouses. So just be careful when you're looking on maps, not to assume that you see a pool and it's a part of your community. And again, even though there's no amenities here, what's going to draw you here is if you want to be away from the busyness of it all. When I drive on Route 340, Route 15 at this section here, there's never any traffic. It is so easy to get down to Brunswick. If you want to go to, you know, over to Jefferson, if you want to get to West Virginia, like I said, there's almost no traffic on this highway. It's a much quieter section of Frederick. So if you're into that, this may be right for you. And at the time of this video, the Myers quick move-ins are starting at 479,990 and the serenades are starting at 489,990. All right, so we're going to head over to the 8th community, which is at the far south end of Frederick. And this is the Villages of Urbana Market District by Envy Homes. And this is being developed right smack dab in Urbana Village, right next to all the shopping and dining. This is a location that a lot of people didn't think was going to be developed. It's right next to the library. It was a big open space for a while. And now Envy Homes has come and snatched that up and they're building some pretty impressive townhouses here. They're building one single floor plan, which is the Van Dorn. And that is a 20 foot wide townhouse starting with three beds, two and a half baths and a two car garage. It does have an option of adding a fourth level loft. And if you know these builders, you know that Envy Homes is known for the higher quality builds. They're owned by the same company that owns Ryan Homes, but they boast about their quality and the price point is there to match what they think it's worth. These homes are starting at $674,990 and that's the base model price. That means if you add any options, you're well into the 700s and you're probably wondering like, why am I going to pay $700,000 for a townhouse in this location? And I'll tell you, if you're not familiar with Urbana, it is a very hot location for real estate. Very low inventory here. A lot of people move here for the schools. That's because they want to be in Urbana High School, Middle and Elementary School District, while also being close to I-270, which is right on the west side of Urbana. And there's a ton of amenities here. There's multiple pools, multiple playgrounds, tons of walking trails. I mean, this is an amenity packed community that's well established. And again, it is a hot place to live. Now those prices are matching what townhouses are going for south towards DC, like Rockville and Bethesda. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth it to spend this kind of money to be in this area? And for a lot of people, it clearly is. And the ninth and final community to talk about, we're going back into downtown Frederick, and that's the community of Wren Quarter by D.R. Horton. Now, this is a massive community built on the east side of Carroll Creek Linear Park, and it has a ton to offer. Now, as far as the townhouses go, when they started this community, they started with multiple styles and they were kind of this modern style you'd see out in like Colorado and Utah, the flat rooftops, and they built multiple types of floor plans of that. So as you drive through, you're going to see so many different housing styles in this community, but they've switched over to a craftsman style to match what their single family homes look like. So they will not be selling any more of the modern looking homes. And they're currently selling two floor plans in that new style. The first is called the Carlton, which is a 16 foot wide townhouse. And yes, you heard that right. 16 foot wide townhouse with four bedrooms, four full baths, no half baths and a one car garage. So this is really different than other communities on the list. They've chosen to go a very different route with a much smaller house packing a lot into that small space so they can get more houses into this community. And then they have the Norris model, the Norris floor plan, which is a 20 foot townhouse with four beds, three and a half baths, and a two-car garage. And this is more of your standard layout for a townhouse. So they at least kept one more uh, standard option in this community. But the most important thing to note about all of the homes here in Ren Quarter, including the single family homes, is they are all quick delivery homes. They're ready in 30 to 60 days. You cannot customize them at all. So if you go in and you don't like the kitchen, if you don't like the siding, you cannot change any of it. So you have to buy the full package and be happy with the full package. And the amenities of this community really stand out because not only do they have the pool, a tot lot, dog park, a lot of walking trails through the community, but it's also going to connect to Carroll Creek through a 78 acre brand new park that's going to have a 5k walking trail, tennis courts. It's going to be a really cool outdoor space that is going to massively expand the downtown part of Frederick, the Carroll Creek part of Frederick, which is already really cool in itself. And this is just going to make it that much better. And if you're interested in living here, the Carlton starts at 480990 and the Norris starts at $517,990. 
So that's all nine communities that are selling townhouses right now in Frederick. And that's a lot. That's a lot of communities actively selling homes all across Frederick. Sometimes you only see a handful, but we're at a very high point in development right now. So how do you determine which is right for you? Well, I'll go over that in a second. But first, I want to go over the method that I use to track these communities most efficiently. And all it is, if you go into the description below, I'm going to send you a document that has all of the builders hyperlink to it. This is faster than going to Zillow, faster than going on the MLS. This is the easiest way to see what each new developer or each builder is offering. You click on them, you see your area and what they're building right now. And I'm telling you, this has saved me so much time. So again, click on that link below, put in your information and I'll send you over that list. Now, how do you determine which is right for you? Well, first you have to determine the size home you need. That can eliminate a lot of them right there. If you need something offering a fourth floor, there are very few communities offering that fourth level loft. So that eliminates half of them right there. Or if you know you wanna be within walking or biking distance of downtown, there's only two communities that meet your needs right there. So make sure to look at the location and the size and that's gonna eliminate a lot of these for you. But that's not everything. You need to know the inside scoop on these builders and that's what I'm here for. I talk to my clients all the time. I talk to these builders all the time about these communities. I know what they're like, how they're building, if my clients have a good experience with them or a bad experience with them and why, how good they are with upholding their warranties, all of that. So if you're interested in buying new construction in Frederick, whether that's next week or two years from now, it is never too soon to connect with me. And the easiest way to do that is just going in the description below and clicking on that link to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me. We'll get a plan together for your move. I'll tell you everything you need to know about new construction and why you need representation for new construction and we'll get a plan together to make your move go as smoothly as possible and as always if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe so you stay up to date on all of my videos about moving to maryland